Aquarius, welcome to your singles reading for January 2020. This is Mary. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Aquarius, we're going to take a look at what's going on with you at this time in love for singles. So you have to be single in some way, shape, or form. If you are connected to somebody, um, you may want to watch the Love Connection reading I do every month, and maybe that may resonate for you also. I mean, for this reading, you could be uh, separated for somebody or... I mean, you could just like somebody, they don't know who you are, or um, maybe you think there's a mutual connection, or you could be completely single, wondering when is somebody going to come into me. Uh, so we're going to take a look here at the energy and see what's going on. So welcome, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. And this will probably be out after Christmas. So I hope you had a nice Christmas, a happy new year. So let's see what's going on for Aquarius singles. And I do say at this time, uh, even though all my date uh, readings are dated, I do consider them all timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, you're more than welcome. Your playlists are below in the description box. Tons of stuff down there also. Decks I'm using, social media. I do readings on Instagram. Um, how to reach out for personal readings. So tons of stuff down there. Feel free to check that out. Okay, Aquarius. Only take what resonates for you. So what I'm going to do here... Um, Get a couple signs to start off with this uh, Zodiac deck. Get a couple signs for you. I'm feeling those too. Let's see what we have. So we have Sagittarius and Capricorn. So two signs. Possible signs. Possible incoming signs. Possible people maybe you already know. So I don't know. We'll see. So what I'm going to do with this deck here is I'm going to get an opening energy first. And then I'm going to put um, an energy on this side, an energy on that side. And I guess pick a side, whatever side you resonate with. And then we'll bring the two energies together, see how they will come together. Once they're together, how that plays out after that. So kind of a fun uh, spread I put together. If you are familiar with my singles reading, the past ones I have done the past couple of times, this is different. So if you prefer... The style I used before, before, please let me know down in the description box, well not description box, the comments, um, which singles reading you like better, if you prefer this style or the other style. If you're not familiar with my other singles reading, you can go to the description box, click on the love reading, go find December's singles reading, and you can let me know which one you like better. If you like both, I can maybe switch it up, do one this way and one the other way, you know. All right, so that being said, Aquarius, let's get an opening energy. This could be the energy of you, this possible person coming towards you, or it could be possible mutual energy in the future. Just going to get an opening energy here. Well, this top one wanted to fly, so let me see. Can we get an opening energy for Aquarius? So... We have remembrance, resurfacing of past feelings and emotions. 21 is three. So this could be somebody you knew from the past. And maybe you haven't seen them in a very, very, very long time. Maybe you even forgot about them. Then all of a sudden you run into them and maybe it's been like years, years. Maybe like grammar school, high school. Well, not grammar school, but you know, high school or something like that and uh, you know maybe you like them or maybe you dated for a little bit or you know or maybe you were just friends with them and all of a sudden you run into them and you're like how oh, I remember you um, but it says feelings and emotions so it could have been somebody you liked or somebody liked you or there could have been uh, dating involved or something like that between the two of you I don't know we'll see so I'm gonna put an energy an energy Wow Okay, I'm feeling this one on this side. This one went flying. Okay, so we got an energy on this side. We have the temptri temptress, seduction, deceit, a broken promise. And we have 15, which is 6. But 6 is uh, going into a better place, a more healing, balancing place. Okay, let's see here. On this side, we have the message, positive news, positive outcome. 28 is 10. 10 is about an ending and the one is a new beginning. So this could be, oh God, I'm getting third party energy. Maybe, maybe you're the single one or this side is the single person, maybe got involved with somebody. And now this person maybe 
leaving the situation they're in to be with the person over here. So, uh, I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. We have the Tree of Life 1. Fertility, creativity, destiny, magical blessings. One is it all, all about a new beginning. So this could actually be a person you're meant to be with. Uh, it's destiny, divine timing, tree of life. You could be connected from past lives. Um, like from the soul, same soul family, soul tribe. And magical blessings here. So this could be somebody that you're actually meant to be with. Let's get some tarot around these energies here. And I don't know if somebody was a temptress. That's why I'm thinking third party. Because um, we do have three there. So it could have been, you know, it could have been maybe even high school. You know, maybe this person cheated on you, cheated with you with on their person or vice versa or something like that. You know, maybe way back when you were, somebody was a temptress to somebody caused something to happen. There was cheating or something like that. And thinking back, you know, you see this person, you're like, oh my God. And you think back on what happened. But then all of a sudden a message comes in from this person. So hmm, maybe, you know, you just run into each other and you're like, wow. And all those feelings start to resurface from, I mean, it could have been one night. It could have been an ongoing thing. Uh, I don't know if this will resonate with everybody. So just take it how it resonates. Uh, if it's not somebody from the past, um... I, I don't know. It could be something current going on, but somebody has to be single here. This is a singles reading. So, all right. So let's get some energy around this temptress. See what's going on with that spirit, please. Like I said, Aquarius, pick a side, um, whatever side you resonate with. And then the other side, I guess, would either be uh, the person. Yeah, Nine of Swords, stress, fear, anxiety, worry. And then we have, wow, the Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. You know, the Seven of Swords is kind of like that sneaky energy of getting away. But then the Ace of Pentacles is a stable new beginning. Secure, abundant, for the long term. Building on a firm foundation kind of energy. It could be you wanted to, you know, maybe you really like this person. You wanted to build with them for the long term, maybe you saw your, back then you saw your, you, you saw yourself with them. You saw it like that tree of life, like, wow, I could really, you know, grow with this person for the future. But then there's an energy here of stress, anxiety, and then somebody just sneaking away or leaving the uh, connection. Could be that sneaky energy of meeting up um, behind somebody else's back. That's that sneaky, deceitful energy. All right, so let's get some energy around the message here. That's way too much, way too many. Some energy around the message. What is that about? King of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Wow, okay. And then that, okay. All right, wow, look at all this earth energy. So definitely could be a Capricorn here. Um... I feel like this person could have been somebody who was married because the Ten of Pentacles is usually the marriage card. It's a long-term investment. It's, you know, sharing everything, all the assets, the money, you know, that whole energy. But now we have a single energy with the Nine of Pentacles. So this person is single now. And that may be the message coming in. You know, ma marry, maybe they married the other person like years ago when you were kids or whatever. But now they're single. And maybe you run into this person and you're like, oh my God, and you get all those memories of the past that maybe you forgot about. And now all of a sudden a message comes in that they're single. <laughs> wow. Okay. So let's get more energy around this uh, for you, Cancer. A lot of earth energy there. And that definitely is that Capricorn energy. Okay. Knight of Wands. So there's the fire energy. Let me get these. Knight of Wands. So that can be a in and out player kind of energy, or that's just moving forward, a lot of drive, ambition, uh, just fiery, passionate energy. Well, they got justice in reverse. Hmm. So they could be single, but they're not quite out of the situation yet. Uh, you know, maybe they're separated, 
maybe they're not with this person any longer, but maybe with the justice in reverse, I feel like, you know, maybe it's just not final yet. I was getting a strong energy, okay, in divorce, but then the justice came out in reverse. So I feel like they're not quite totally free yet, but they're living independently, but the paperwork, you know, and that whole thing in the justice system isn't finalized yet. But you, you, I think you see them and then you're ready like to take action. Like you want to like connect with them again. All right. So let's see how this will come together. So we got the seven of wands energy here. So that's spring. You may run into them in the springtime. It could have been like way, way before. It could have been like in the winter time. This all happened. Um, if this was a third party thing, I mean, like if you're in high school, college or whatever, I'm getting a feeling like a, like a long time ago, I mean, it doesn't have to be, but it could have been winter time that it all came like to a stop because like a lot of winter energy here, but now we got springtime, two cards of spring. So I feel like you may run into them in the springtime. They could own their own business or just be very, very successful with that King of Pentacles energy. Um, you know, they make money, they're well off, they're set, they don't really have to worry. So I think this is someone very successful, either, you know, a CEO, a vice president, president, or they own their own business, or they're very, or in finances, or something like that. They're very financially stable. But you see the seven of wands here, I believe this is the before tarot. So um, it could be the after tarot, I think. It could be the after tarot. But, um, you know, the Seven of Wands is usually about being defensive and on guard and fighting and standing up. But you see this man has finally just kind of bowed down. It's like you're finally just going to, like, give in to the connection. Like, okay, we know. And maybe, you know, through the years you've always have thought about each other because we do have a remembrance there. Maybe you just never forgot about each other. You know, your hearts are always connected in some way. So I do see... Um, spring energy here so a lot of spring these two cards so let's see but I don't feel like this person is completely totally free yet I don't think the ink is dry and they're totally free of this yet but let's get some energy yeah the devil energy someone is still connected to uh, this toxic energy I don't think they're completely free judgment yeah final decision call here judgment making a decision Resurrection of the past, forgiveness of the past, whatever happened in the past. Devil can be about third party situations, giving into lust um, and that kind of energy. So now this is like, you know, resurrection of the past, forgiveness of the past. This is the angel that brings the soulmates back together. Forgiving, making final judgment call. Wow. Okay. So let's get, uh, let's get some more energy here. The star healing, what healing right over the devil. Wow, healing the situation, faith, hope, optimism, divinely guided energy. The judgment brings the soulmates together with this divinely guided star energy, something meant to be. And healing this, asking for forgiveness and healing, wishes and dreams coming true. Four of Pentacles. So I feel like you like you never forgot about each other. Like you always hold held on to the memory. No matter what happened, like you always, I felt like you always had that connection, even though under these circumstances and you never for, forgot about each other, you always held on to those memories with the Four of Pentacles energy. So let's see here. Three Pentacles, uh, two, yeah, three Pentacles. So now we have three. So now, like, work coming together, working it out, forgiving, he, forgiving, healing, you know, wanting to, um, Compromise, um, whatever here, collaboration, teamwork, whatever it is here, working it out, working it out is what I'm getting. Okay, so let's get a little more energy here. <laughs> Six of Pentacles, wow, heavy earth energy. This person definitely could be a Capricorn. Maybe they have Sag in their chart, or you could have Sag in your chart, or the Sag could be the other person, male, female, doesn't matter. But now here's, uh, Balancing things out, equal give and take. Two wands, making plans, decisions for the future. Okay, so let's get uh, let's get a possible outcome in this connection. 
The Fool. Wow. Taking a leap of faith. That's your energy, Aquarius. I can't make this up. That's your energy, Aquarius. So taking a leap of faith, restarting, resetting at zero, leaving the past in the past, taking that leap of faith, trusting that everything will be fine, and jumping right in and going for it. Forgiven, healing, everything of the past. Because I'm looking here and we go from six, four, three, two, zero. So it's like just eliminating everything from the past. Just let's start over. This person, um, I, I feel like they're almost free of the situation. Not quite with that justice in reverse, but I mean, here's that. And here's that stable offer coming in with the Ace of Pentacles over here. It's like, it's like you deep down, I think, kind of knew that someday you would be together, if that makes sense in a way. Because I think you're connected by this like tree of life, like you're part of each other's souls. Because you see the heart here, and here's the heart here. So, wow. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Three cups coming together, celebrating, rejoicing, reuniting, celebrating. Eight of cups. So now, you know, people have once walked away, but now they've come back. Now ready to drink from that cup of love. Moving far very quickly. With the chariot energy, a lot of drive, ambition, balance. Wheel of fortune, fate, destiny, divine timing. All divine timing here. Fate, destiny, things going in the right direction. Very strong bond between the two of you. Fate and destiny stepping in, making this happen, moving it forward. Now no longer walking away. Now can be together, drink from each other's cup. As here, we're uh, reuniting, rejoicing, celebrating, and working it out. Wow. All right, so let's get some extra messages from this deck here. I do ask um, Aquarius, if you like my style, how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. I do a lot of different readings a month. You can check out my channel. You like what you see. See, please feel free to subscribe and hit the bell. You won't miss any readings. And if you do, thank you. Thank you to everybody who supported the channel in any way, whether you tip, donated, reach out for personal reading, sent a gift, um, or just, you know, you're a new subscriber. However you supported me, I couldn't do it without you guys. So I truly, truly appreciate it. So thank you. Thank you so much. Let's get a message here. Listening, which is five, which is about change. So this is like listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, listening to each other. Really, like, <laughs> really now just sitting down, working it out, really having open, honest, truthful discussions and really listening to each other. What's been going on all this time? How did you really feel back then? You know, if this, this was your situation, you know, and how do you feel? I mean, just, listen, just listening intently to one another through this whole process. Wow. That could be that, you know, that message, positive news coming. But we don't have a lot of swords here. I mean, we do here. But we got a lot of pentacles and wands. So st stability and passion, a lot of healing energy. And soulmates coming together. And on the bottom we have high priestess of water. So and four is all about stability, basis, foundation. So I do feel like here um, water is a very emotional energy. So there could be a lot of deep feelings and emotions here between the two of you. And things may just flow effortlessly now, being intuitive, um, healing energy again with the water energy. So uh, being very in tune and touch with that energy. So, um, wow. I see new starts here, forgiving, forgetting everything of the past and now working it out. And I feel like this is definitely um, possible soulmate energy here, Aquarius. Wow, so good luck to you, Aquarius, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings, and as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.